So this example is saying determine the coordinates of point P on a unit circle with a radius R is equal to four and a half units and a central angle of 45 degrees. So a couple of things that I want to point out is we have a radius of four and a half units and a central angle of 45 degrees. A central angle is the angle that happens near the center of the unit circle. So I'm going to put up a unit circle here. Again, you should always draw one. Um, it'll help you visualize or see what's going on. I just have a graphic up here just for clarity for, for demonstration purposes. But now I'm going to determine our unit circle now. 45 degrees on a unit circle. That's probably right about here. So this is going to be point P right here. Here is our 45 degree angle. That's our central angle. It happens near the center here. So again, we have our special right triangle. I'll go ahead and I'll put it in here. And this is a 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. And we know from our special right triangles that if this is a measure of one, this is a radius with a measure of one, one unit, then this measure here is going to be the square root of two over two. And this measure here is also going to be the square root of two over two. So if we have a, a radius of one unit, then the coordinates right here for P are going to be root 2 over 2 for our X coordinate and root 2 over 2 for our Y coordinate. However, it's not one unit. It's four and a half. So if you could visualize here, I'll go ahead and put in a 45, 45, 90 right here. This is root 2 over 2. If this is one unit in length, if the hypotenuse or the radius is one unit in length, then this is root 2 over 2 also. However, if this radius is not one unit in length, but is four and a half units in length, then the idea is, is that the side lengths are also multiplied by four and a half. This also becomes a factor of four and a half. This also becomes a factor of four and a half. And if you remember from an earlier section, that's how we generate Pythagorean triples. So all I need to do is now that I've established that the pattern is root two over two and root two over two for uh, this coordinate right here, all I have to do is multiply this by four and a half. But I'm not going to multiply it by 4.5. I'm going to multiply it using its uh, fraction equivalent. So I'm just going to type in 4.5 here. And I use, the, I use a TI-30. And then I'm going to use these double arrows here, down here. And if I hit it and then hit Enter, it gives me 9 halves. So 4 and a half is actually 9 halves as a fraction. So I'm just going to write it in over here like this. Because then I'm going to take this 9 and a half and multiply it to root 2 over 2. That's this length here. And then I'm going to multiply 9 and a half to this root 2 over here. And it's going to be this length here. Of course, if I take 9 and a half and multiply it to the radius, I wind up with 4 and a half units. Now, if you don't have this capability on your calculator, we can easily go ahead and say that 4 and a half is 45 divided by 10. 45 divided by 10 is 4.5. You could certainly figure that out on your calculator. And 45, that's 9 times 5. And 10 is 2 times 5. And then just using basic algebra, our common factors are going to cancel. A 5 and a 5, and I'm left with 9 halves. So 9.5 times root 2 over 2. 9 times root 2 over 2. That's 9 root 2, and then 2 times 2, that's 4. I do the same here, 9 times the square root of 2, that's 9 times the square root of 2, and 2 times 2, that's 4. Now these are exact coordinates. When we leave it in radical form, these wind up being exact coordinates. If you want to know what it is approximately, well, I just go ahead and I type in 9, and then I'm going to type in the square root, don't forget, here's your square root here. You have to use your second key. 
the square root of 2, and then I'm going to divide it by 4. But notice that my cursor here is still underneath the radical here. And I don't want my uh, division of 4 underneath the radical, so I have to hit this arrow key, and now you can see that it's on the outside of the radical. Now I can divide by 4. I'm going to hit Enter, and it shows it exactly as we have it written here. So then I just hit the arrow keys, and it's approximately 3.182. So this has an approximation of 3.182, and of course this will also.